Well, hey, what's up everybody? It is October 27th, the day before my 48 hour race. I'm doing some packing. So I'm in the office right now getting everything, uh, this type of stuff packed and squared away right now. On the table, I've got my bag of, uh, it's got a drone and extra GoPro, extra GoPro batteries. Have my GoPro there. Case for a charger, which is uh, <laughs> down there charging right now. That's just like a jump pack. I can plug anything USB into and charge it if I need to, which will be great. Not gonna have to charge the Vertex 2 that I'll be wearing. It is getting a final boost right now, but that'll be good for, I could do the whole 96 hour on that if I wanted, so I'm not doing that. And then over here, I've also got, you can see this uh, bright green jacket. This is a jacket I'm testing from uh, Ushare Outdoors. They sent that to me to test. It's like a windbreaker, uh, water resistant jacket as well with tape seams, all of that. So be perfect to test it because there is a chance of rain. Saturday night, early Sunday morning, and it's gonna be cool too, so I might just wanna wear that for a little bit of extra warmth. But today is gonna to be busy. I've gotta get the van squared away, ready for, you know, the put the bed in there, pack up all my other stuff, so let's get to all that nonsense. So I've got everything that I think I'm gonna take laid out. I'm probably gonna remove some of these items because it's a lot. Obviously, this is way more than I would take if I was going to like a point-to-point -point race or uh, not a looped race where I'm gonna have my own setup. I mean, I'm, be able to, I'm gonna have my van, I'm gonna have a canopy tent, uh, so I'll be able to have like a really nice station. So this is a lot of stuff, I'm aware. <laughs> Starting up here at the front, we've got massage gun, three pairs of exoskin socks, a roller stick right there, a couple of different headlamps, uh, extra batteries, hot hands over there for you know the cold nights, three, uh, three different types of water carrying systems. And then back there, I've got a belt for the bib and then one for my pacer if they want to join. A couple of towels and things some first aid items in here, you know, like the extra gold bond and tape for my feet, that kind of stuff. And then moving to the front, the clothes that I'm gonna wear, uh, obviously Exoskin uh, Exo underwear, the Exoskin shirts, the Path Project shorts over top, and then a couple of different shirts if I wanna put those on there, some rabbit shirts. Uh, and then if it gets cold, I have, well, it is gonna get cold, I've got my Path Project's pants, Saucony pants, another pair of pants, and then two different tights right there if I wanna throw those on as well. Keeping with the cold theme, we've got a couple of different ear protection things, uh, mittens and gloves from Saucony and Ultimate Direction. And then a couple of different buffs, uh, some compression. Sleeves for the calves, the quads. I'm not really a big fan of those, but it's a long race, you never know. <laughs> uh, and then also for more cold weather-ish stuff, I have the Path Projects uh, long sleeve hoodie, the Tailwind Tech hoodie as well, just in case. Uh, three hats, a couple of different ways to carry the water. I've got the Solomon Sense Pro 5, Ultimate Direction, Jurek uh, Waste Pack, and then also just a little flip belt as well. Probably going to go with the flip belt primarily. And then if it gets really cold, I have the Ultimate Direction Ventro jacket, the Saucony Bluster jacket. Uh, and then this is the green wind rain jacket that I'm going to be testing. And then, uh, you know, I've also got my actual rain jacket right there, the black one, just in case that doesn't work well. And then back in the back, the poles, just in case, uh, you know, it's if I go 150 plus miles, I might just want poles just to walk. I don't really know. And then we have, of course, a couple of packs of Tailwind, some different variety of the flavored, non-flavored, recovery, caffeinated, all of that. These are the caffeine pills I talked about the other day that I purchased, uh, so we're gonna try those out. More Gold Bond, shaker bottle, salt pills right here. Um, let see if we can get that, yep, salt pills. And a cook stove. And obviously I'm gonna have a bigger cook stove, a table, the canopy tent, like I mentioned. I'm gonna use the um, anti-gravity chair that I can lay in if I want. I've got a sleeping bag, uh, my Wooby blanket thing that I did a review on as well. Uh, lots of different things. I'll have a cooler of my own water as well, just in case I don't want to go all the way around to the aid station. If I need something on the other side of the lake, uh, I will grab it right there. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Probably don't need half of it, but it's a short race close to my house, so why not take it? Well, I think I've got everything loaded into the van now. I got everything pared down a little bit. Obviously here I have my mattress, sleeping bag, that bag over there is my aid, like, you know, I don't know, foot stuff, first aid stuff, things like that, nutrition, massage stuff. Got a table, my anti-gravity chair over there, my Wooby blanket, love that thing right there, it's awesome. And then down below here, uh, that is all the camp supplies in there, cook stove, also some trekking poles. 
and then uh, a couple pairs of shoes, drone and all that equipment right there, another chair. On this side here, we can see we've got the propane tank and the heater is back in there somewhere. I've got my canopy, sidewalls, light, food, all sorts of stuff. So I've got a lot of stuff in the van and my plan is to leave pretty early. I gotta stop at my brother-in-law's, pick up some LED lights to put inside the tent. That'll be pretty cool looking. Uh, and then get out to the site and get there a little before an hour early so I can get the tent set up. Uh, I'll, let, I'll leave the sidewalls, they don't need to be up right away. Uh, and then, you know, just get ready to run, go check in, get my bib, the swag, that kind of stuff, get ready to go. And then the race starts at 10 a.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Central time. Uh, I'll put a link below in the description if you wanna watch, you can track, uh, you know, see some laps completed, that kind of thing, see my progress, it'll be there. You can take a look at it in the description. And yeah, it's just been, uh, it's been a busy day. I've got, a, I've got some cool things today in the mail. One of them I can show you. Let's see, this right here. This thing right here, heat, pa heat pod sauna blanket. So it's like a infrared heat sauna blanket. You get in it like a sleeping bag and it's supposed to help you recover. So it'll be a perfect time to test it after this race. I will definitely give it some use for sure. So stay on the lookout for that. All right, well, that's it. I gotta go eat some dinner now. I gotta go make some pasta, get some food cooked. I'm hungry and then get some sleep tonight so I can uh, be up for a long time so anyway thank you guys for watching i appreciate you all hope you have a great weekend and i will yeah i'll talk to you next week sometime after 48 hours of running real quick too i didn't mention any goals i forgot so i'll go ahead and, you know my basically uh my minimum goal that i want to achieve is 150 miles over the uh over the 48 hours uh, i feel that that's pretty attainable my like unrealistic super goal is like you know 180 ish miles and anywhere in between there be good too so but it's a whole new experience i've not gone past 27 hours like i've told you guys before so uh, i don't know what to expect we'll see so yeah stay tuned and see if i can do any of that